<laughs> Hi there! <laughs> can't take cell phone calls with a camera, can you? I mean, who would want to carry that around in their cleavage? Phones are so much easier to fit there. Hi guys, this is Jessica with the channel Dolores Serenity, and I have two cameras now staring me in the face for comparison. Comparison between the Samsung and the Sony A6600, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I want you guys to see the videos and compare and see which one you like better. I mean, you're, you're probably going to notice that there's some that are good for some things and bad for others. Come explore with me. All right guys, so here we are in random order. I have the sky and it's overcast. It's like an overcast day. On the left is actually my Samsung phone. On the right is the A6600. And we'll move on to the next one. It is some nice vase and cups. And here on the right is my phone and on the left is the camera. Could you tell that? Yeah, I have a lens that is special. <laughs> and now we are looking at some dolls. The autofocus works pretty well. Um, my Samsung really doesn't zoom in well, as you could see. My Samsung is the left camera. On the right, it looks much better as long as I don't get in the bad autofocus range. So, yeah, let's keep checking. Next, we have some lights. Can you guess which one it is? Right. The right side is my phone. Here we have a map. It was very shiny and pretty, but with the lens on the camera, I really couldn't get in close to the beautiful details. Like, look at the details on there. I can get really close on one of these, and the other one, it's just, it's a lens issue. All right, now we have the shiny plate. Um, this time, my phone is on the right-hand side. It was really hard to even tell the difference between these two. Now we have this bush thing. <laughs> the left-hand side is my phone. Now we have the marbles. Now, due to the limitations of the 18 to 105 lens that I have, I couldn't really get that close, but my phone on the left could get super close, beautiful detail shots. Now we have more lights and a chandelier. And I actually think that the camera did better. The camera is on the right hand side on this one and my phone is on the left for the comparison. And now we're moving on to jewels. And I think you could tell which one is my camera and which one is the phone. The right hand side is the phone. The right hand side has so much better details. I think I might need to get a lens eventually that isn't just the 18 105. And here we have this little rainbow vase thing. On the left is my phone. That really does have some zoom. That is across the street in Caddy Corner to me. Let's try the monkey in the window. Yeah, it's pretty good. I said it was pretty good. Now my steadiness is not. <laughs> we'll see how I can fix that in post-production. Bunny. 
it's a dark day outside. It's a little bit overcast and yeah. I'm hoping this light will help. Maybe as long as I don't like leave my hands around like I'm doing magic tricks. <sighs> Let's finish doing this outro. <laughs> Conclusion, it seems like the A6600 and the Samsung Galaxy have good and bad things for them, but there's a tool for every situation and it's just going to be all about learning how to do that. The only color correction I did on this video was in the intro, when I had the phone and the camera running at the same time, the camera actually made it very, very dim. I had to increase um, the lighting of me, otherwise it looked like I was, you know, an angel and a devil on a shoulder. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I think it's all about learning and creating and casting light on the subject in front of the camera and I need to get used to that because this is easy mode. <laughs> this really was easy mode is easy mode. I will still use both cameras. I will try to predominantly use the A6600 though since that is a real camera and I filmed everything with 4K for both the phone and the camera. Let me know what you guys think. Is Would you still use a camera phone or would you try to strictly be behind the lens if you like this video like subscribe I'll see you next time if you like this you know leave a comment and I'll try to do some more see you next time And this puppy on ambient light that is super harsh. Can dim it, can make it yellowish orange, still a little white, and maybe off to the side. Can I dim this? It is dim. That's hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> super right. <laughs> They look like a ghost. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe should it come from this side? Maybe a little bit in front of me. Okay, so that's harsh light. Super harsh light. Okay, enough playing around, sorry. So they said it dim it so that it's still a little bit bright. There's no light there. A little bit, but not too harsh. I think that should work, maybe. I think I just need more lights. I should probably turn the overhead light on too, but it, it gave me like some weird <laughs> under the nose like shadow before. Let's see what that light looks like. <laughs> Comparisons. Should I put myself in front of a mirror? How should I do this? Because I want the camera and the cell phone. Let's go to shot. <laughs>